all of this connected as we put our curve in context. Okay, so you see all the lines for testing. Testing going up. Let's take a look at your daily amount of Florida cases because just again, we have tied a record. 2,714 new cases reported just yesterday, which ties a record high for Monday. Exactly tied, 2,114. Now we're going all the way back to March 24th here on this chart, and we're going to take a look at our initial peak. All right, so this happened April 14th. We uh, were getting uh, right around a thousand positives coming out uh, each and every day. Now your phase one of reopening happened here at this red line. That was May 4th, and you can see a bit of that dip on our moving average, which is our dotted line here. However, after phase one, things slowly start going up. Now, perhaps it is increased testing. Perhaps it's the fact that phase two happened there. We saw a sharp increase. Now, let's take a look at our uh, testing amount because we, as we just saw in that story there from Haley, we, uh, we've had a lot here, especially Lot J, and so many different places around the First Coast now opening as well. While uh, our peak of testing would seem to have happened on May 17, take a look, the negative results, the bluish line, uh, the positive results still so small, relatively speaking. We're talking about percentages, which is going to be positive. But look uh, there, um, but still more testing being done now here in June, actually almost twice as much, three times as much done here uh, this la first couple of weeks worth of June as was done back in, the, uh, in April. All right, so Florida daily tests of percent positive. Very, very uh, important. Now, this isn't a cumulative. This is just daily. So we do our dotted line, which shows average, and that's kind of smooths this curve out just a bit. But um, even if you were to draw a line, your eyes don't deceive you. You can tell the percent positive has steadily been going up with amounts of testing. In fact, uh, the uh, testing positive results here just in the last day around Florida, a little over 10%, in fact, almost 11% and when you get over that 10% number, that's what can get folks concerned much more in your curve and context throughout the next 90 minutes. Heather.